Hello, today I will share with you some tips on how to be accepted into medical school, even with a low GPA. Have you ever dreamt of being a doctor? But you worry whether or not you'll be able to get into medical school? You're studying so much, but still you have a low GPA. And you think, can I still make it into medical school? Well, let's talk about some ways to offset the GPA score. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Ava. I'm an internal medicine hospitalist who, like you, sometimes did not know what I was doing in my medical journey. Not only I have firsthand experience regarding the admission process, I also know the stress it can be getting into a medical school. I'm here to teach you the ins and the outs of the whole process and help you worry less so you can focus on what needs to be done and the best practices to be successful to reach your goals. So stick until the end of this video for content that will aid you to overcome the challenges that come with the journey of becoming a doctor. Many students with a low GPA stress about whether or not they can be accepted into medical school. And that's a valid question. Yes, you have just spent the past four years of your life studying hard to obtain that bachelor's degree, but not everyone has a 4.0. And that's okay. Balancing school and life can be a challenge and any grades under an A can drastically affect your metrics. If you have a low GPA, start by identifying the reasons that are causing this result in your grades. There may be time to improve your GPA before applying, but things happen in life you might have had a death in the family, something went wrong, not as planned, but don't worry. There are some ways to offset the low GPA and enhance your chances of gaining acceptance into medical school and the medical school of your choosing. Here are the top five ways to be accepted into medical schools with a low GPA. You can do a post back to show an upward trend in your grades because by showing an improvement in your grades, you share your aptitude and discipline as a student to work hard to achieve your academic goals. Your ability to make progress and evolve as a good student reveals strong character. The second, you can get a high MCAT score to show your academic competency. Even with a low GPA, acing the MCAT exam will prove your academic abilities. This can be a way to prove your academic competence in the eyes of the admission office. There's no easy way out. You have to study. Study is the key. Study diligently for the MCAT and explore the additional resources available to help you get those high scores. The third, experience, experience, experience. Whether it's clinical experience, volunteering or research, or ideally all of them, why not? Do not drop this aspect. With hands-on learning, you gain points to support your education and what you have been studying for over the past four years. These experiences will definitely highlight your real world skills and you as a human. Four, get letters of recommendations. Maybe while you were taking a class, you had personal issues going on, but your teachers saw how much effort you put in studying, how much you poured yourself despite the circumstances and they can attest to that. Ask them to write you a letter of recommendation to express the whole scenario, that maybe your grades might not show. Five, you can tell a compelling story in your personal statement. Express yourself. Tell the story about why you are passionate about the medical field, because the admissions office know you want to become a doctor. But the real question is why? Be open, be honest about your life experiences and your character. Don't be afraid to show your personality, humanitarian work, and your extracurricular hobbies. Show them that you are doctor material. You want the chance to get in front of the committee so that they can say, wow, this person is great overall despite not having a great GPA. Over 50,000 medical school applications are submitted each year on average. 
even though admission officers begin reviewing GPAs and MCAT scores to sort through the overwhelming number of applicants, their goal is to admit the best students based on other qualities too, not just their grades. They often search for personalities and background information. Where there's a will, there is a way. So I encourage you to start by thinking, can I get my GPA up? And if so, do it especially in the prerequisite classes. If not, focus on the factors that will help you offset the low GPA. Apply extra focus during study time and practice exams to prepare for the MCAT. If you need more tips on studying for the MCAT, make sure to check out my MCAT study tips video. Study, study, study. Look for clinical research and volunteer experiences near you. Things happen. We're all human, even the committee. So letters of recommendations can help answer questions and gaps they may have because of your low GPA score. Be sure the committee remembers your name by representing your best honest self to help you stand out. If you want something more personalized for you in a chronological and organized way with my one-on-one -on -one support, I have an online mentorship live with me, you and I together for a whole hour with me teaching you step-by-step -step on how you can successfully get into medical school still in this year. Click on the link below to learn more. Whether you are a minority, a student with a low GPA, or has a less than perfect MCAT score, don't give up on your goal. Your acceptance awaits. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.